Hello and welcome back to the channel. I am Jan Bisho, also known as Jan of Kalina. Here we talk about climate action and environmental sustainability from an African point of view. In today's video, we're going to explore the top 10 African countries that have been significantly impacted by the effects of climate change and how it has also affected their economies. I understand that climate change impact varies from country to country, region to region, area to area, person to person. But these 10 countries have been significantly impacted by climate change in the most recent years. But before we continue with the rest of the video, I want you to do one thing. Please like. Okay, no, two things. I want you to do two things. Please like the video and also subscribe to the channel if you have not already done that. Number 10 on my list is Senegal. Rising sea levels and coastal erosion threatens the fishing communities in Senegal and also the tourism sector of the country. Between 1954 and 2002, the country's coastline retreated by an average of 2.2 meters. But between 2014 and 2018, it has further retreated by 3 meters per year. The coastal erosion is destroying houses, tourist attraction, and also fishing infrastructures within coastal communities in Senegal, leading to the disappearance of beaches and also agricultural land in most parts of the country. Number nine on my list is Malawi. Droughts and floods have devastated the agricultural productivity of the country, impacting food security and the country's economy at large. The drought and floods have increased significantly in the country over the years. And for a country that is heavily reliant on agriculture, this is very bad for them. It's estimated that Malawi loses about 1.7% of its annual GDP to the combined effect of droughts and floods in the country. It's estimated that they lose over $22 million every year. Number eight on my list is Ghana. In Ghana, erratic rainfall patterns have affected agricultural productivity, negatively impacting cocoa and other key exports from the country. And this has further led to heightened poverty, migration, and even social unrest in parts of the country. Water scarcity is also a huge problem due to these erratic rainfall patterns within the country. Number seven on my list is Mozambique. In Mozambique, frequent cyclones Flooding and rising sea levels have disrupted infrastructure, agricultural activities, and even the coastal communities. In 2019, two deadly cyclones hit Mozambique back to back, with Cyclone Ida happening in March 2019. And six weeks later, Cyclone Bennett also hit the northern part of the country. The Cyclone Ida led to over 1,000 people losing their lives and over 2.6 million people scrambling for humanitarian assistance due to the cyclone. The damage caused by these cyclones have stalled development in Mozambique, also affected seed stocks, and, and also the flooding also affected agricultural activities within the country, leading to a lot of people losing their homes and their livelihoods. Due to climate change, there have been increase in the frequency and intensity of these heavy storms in the country. Number six on my list is South Africa. In South Africa, water scarcity, frequent heat waves, and even wildfires have affected the biodiversity and tourism in the country. For example, the extreme heat at the Kruger National Park has led to the extreme loss of biodiversity and the infrastructure that supports tourism in South Africa. Number five on my list is Kenya. In Kenya, droughts and flash floods have affected water resources, agricultural activities, and even wildlife conservation efforts in the country. In 2022, it was estimated that over 2.7 million people in Kenya were facing acute food insecurity. This was a 10% increase compared to the report in 2021. And, and this was as a result of a below average rainfall season, which has been directly linked to climate change. The droughts have led to poor crop yields and, and low livestock production in Kenya. And this has further led to high food prices and local resource-based conflict within the country. Number four on my list is Nigeria. Increasing temperatures, irregular rainfall patterns, and even conflicts over resources has impacted agriculture and food security in Nigeria. I'm a Nigerian and I come from Nigeria and I will give you some basic examples. In 2022, Nigeria suffered one of its worst flood incidents. Flood disaster impacted about 30 states out of the 36 states in Nigeria. 
making over 600 people lose their lives and millions of people lose their properties and livelihoods. A lot of damage was done to infrastructures within the country, further stalling our development due to climate-induced floods. Also in Nigeria, we have also in Nigeria within the last 10 years, we have seen an increase of we have seen an increase in resource-based conflicts within the country with farmers and with more farmer headsmen clashes happening in various parts of the country. With more farmers and headsmen conflicts happening in various parts of the country due to control over scarce resources. Also in Nigeria, due to irregular rainfall patterns, it has had dire consequences on the agricultural sectors, leading to lower crop yields and therefore higher food prices in the market. Number three on my list is Ethiopia. Persistent drought has led to food insecurity, displacement, and economic challenges in Ethiopia. Currently in Ethiopia, it's estimated that about 20 million people are currently experiencing food insecurity due to them not being able to, due to them not having the access or being able to afford the rising cost of food in their country. This is due to poor seasonal rains in the country and even when they have a few rains, some of the time they then have flash floods which then destroys their farms and that means we'll have lower crop yields. The government resources are lean and that means that more and more of the people in the country are slipping into abject poverty, meaning that they now have to rely on humanitarian aid. Number two on my list is Sudan. Floods, droughts and desertification has put enormous stress on agriculture, water resources and livelihood in Sudan. Approximately 65% of Sudan's lands are affected by desertification and the conflict within the area and the conflict in the country is not even helping matters meaning that more people are meaning that more people are slipping into abject poverty more people have to rely on humanitarian aid and there's not enough food in the country to go around number one on my list is Somalia recurring drought has caused food shortages displacement and economic stability and economic instability in Somalia. Millions of people in Somalia have to struggle daily to get basic necessities like food and water. Approximately 1.8 million children in Somalia are malnourished and struggle to survive the multiple crises hitting the country. It is estimated that in Mogadishu alone, one in five persons is malnourished and one in five persons is malnourished and they do not have enough rains. Even when they do have some rains, sometimes they get flash floods, which then destroy their farms and mean that they will have lesser food due to climate change effects in their country. These countries face a range of climate change effects from rising sea levels, desertification, droughts, floods, coastal erosion, shift in temperature, extreme heat waves, and the list goes on and on. And these, these have heavy impacts on the economies, especially being that in Africa, agriculture is a key part to our economic development and it is heavily impacted by this effect of climate change. Leading to food insecurity and reduced export, thereby meaning that the, these countries will be more economically unstable. And also support these countries in building resilience in building resilience, sustainable practices, and adaptation strategies to climate change. So we need to work together to mitigate against the impacts of climate change, protect vulnerable communities, and also, and also foster a more sustainable future for Africa and the world at large. I hope that you learned something from this video, and if you did, please like and also subscribe. And also tell me what are those sustainable practices that you feel will help these countries in mitigating against climate change and also adapting to the climate change effects that they are currently facing in their countries. I would love to see your suggestions in the country. I would love to see your suggestions in the comment section down below. Thank you very much for watching once more. I remember that you can be the change that you want to see. Until my next video, Joanna of Kaduna, signing out.